This is the video to explain your Rational Number Operations project. You'll work on this project Thursday, September 25th and Friday, September 26th in class, and it will be due at the end of class on Friday, September 26th. Your objective is to create a display of the steps taken to solve a real-world problem involving rational numbers. You can use construction paper to illustrate each problem, or there are pages at the back of the packet to help you. From the given problems, you will do four steps. The first step will be to copy the chosen problem, and you must do three problems in all. There's six listed, you must do three, okay? So your first step is to copy that original problem right here in that box. You can kind of see my mouse scrolling around it, okay? Your second step is to solve that problem, okay? Done here in the workspace, right? Your third step is to check your answer, okay? So we were, here we were adding integers that were opposite, um, opposite signs. We were adding them. So in order to check, I would subtract. When we subtract integers, we keep change, change and we can see that we got the right answer. So you're also gonna see that you need to design a word problem. That will also be, um, that is your third step. Designing a word problem with a minimum of three sentences, okay? And then your fourth step is right here. Right here, where you are illustrating the problem with pictures. And this is, since this is an integer problem, we have integer chips and then a little explanation. All right. Here are your given problems. You must choose three. You have two fraction operation problems, two integer operation problems, two decimal operation problems. Again, you must do three of the six, but you get to pick. And then you're being graded on a criteria C rubric. So here are what we're looking for in order to get a seven or an eight. You must consistently use mathematical language, consistently use different forms of mathematical representation to prevent and present information. You must communicate clearly through coherent lines of reasoning and present work that is consistently organized using a logical structure. And then at the end of the packet are three blank spots um, to kind of guide you in solving your problems. So again, your project is to select three of those six problems. You're going to write the problem here. You're going to solve the problem. You're going to check your work. You're going to write a word problem and you're going to draw a picture to illustrate the problem. This again is due at the end of class on Friday. You will have time on Friday in class to work on it, the whole period, and you should have some time on Thursday as well. Thanks for listening.